Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the Pennsylvanian toy collector here in good old Pennsylvania, USA. And it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time. People! And we got another item from my favorite line of the Loyal Subjects figures of My Hero Academia. And it is none other than... We're gonna look at the box. It's none other than... Todoroki! Endeavor's son. I don't know how to pronounce his other name, but I call him to Todoroki. That's his name. Hero. The only one I don't have is Ina in the helmet and Midoriya with the removable mask or Bakugo in the Loyal Subjects line. I want to get the longer tongue Sue and this Midoriya here and the Ina without the helmet and All Might. But I have most of these figures from Loyal Subjects. And in the box you get a nice display base of UA High School. And that's all there is to say for that packaging. Before we look at Todoroki himself, we got the collector's card. This fire bit is supposed to come off on this figure. But I can't remove it easily, and I'm afraid I'm going to snap it. But his bio for Todoroki. He is a top in his class with great intellect and strength. His quirk, half cold, half hot, gives him the power to freeze with his right hand and his burning with his left hand. And it is pretty cool of a quirk he's got. Quirk, hot and cold. And that's what I love about Todoroki. He was a little bit of both. A hot, an ice and fire hero. <laughs> yeah. And I like having this guy in my collection. Why do I got him wielding the icicle? So you can totally give him off like he's freezing something or something. Freezing a guy cold. You can... Sorry, correction. Oh, my autism is getting the better at me today. But he can have the shoulder fired up like he's going to deliver a firing punch. And he can freeze enemy solid with that icicle. And now for comparison, we're going to bring in the other loyal subjects I own to compare it with. Here is my loyal subjects, Uraraka. And of course, my loyal subjects, Asui, with the short tongue out. But now we're going to compare this to, you guessed it, a McFarlane figure. The only other male superhero I own. The other two heroes I own. Okay, I'm back, and we got good old McFarlane. Asuku Midoriya with Todoroki. And of course, their teacher, All Might. Are these good looking figures for about nine or ten bucks? Yes. These guys are worth adding to your My Hero Academia collection. And posability on the knees is pretty cool. You gotta be cautious because if you're not careful, you could snap the joint. Nothing worse than breaking figures you own. Hinge on hinge joint on the shoulder, which is nice. But this one, because of the fire bit, I'm afraid I'm gonna snap it. Head is on a ball joint, which is nice with these loyal subjects figures. And I just love watching my hero academia seasons. That's why I'm picking up a lot of My Hero Academia figures. Are they worth adding to your collection if you're a My Hero Academia fan? 
yes, they are awesome. And they look just like the anime characters as they came out of the My Hero Academia cartoon. And these figures are really well sculpted and really well painted for loyal subjects figures. I'd give them a 10 out of 10 for how good these figures are. And that's all there is to say for this review. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out, YouTube land.